Northern and southern Inchicon's acid tar ponds are approximately 30 kilometers to the east from Riga and just a few kilometers away from the Gauja River. During the 1950s to the 1980s, without any foundation of waterproof insulation of the sides of the ponds, acid tar waste from oil and lubricant processing was dumped into the ponds. As this waste seeped through the sand, it reached underground waters. Remediation of Inchcon's acid tar ponds was the most extensive and technologically challenged project of this type in the history of Latvia. The environmental damage caused by previous generations has been reduced by a modern approach. We have introduced circular economy principles, made use of eco-innovations and ensured good management and a result-focused partnership among all involved parties. Tar, as a material, actually has complex physical properties. Its upper layer is like honey or another substance that flows, while the lower layers are harder and similar to coal. From the chemical perspective, acid tar has corrosive abilities that cause the greatest danger. Remediation of acid tar ponds was a complicated process, which involved innovations that we created. The main process was to neutralize the tar bit by bit, as opposed to a flowing process. That made it possible to change the recipe in terms of the composition of the tar. Wood chips were used instead of plastic, because the chips are much better at absorbing moisture. We also ensured on-site lab testing, so that all the changes could be adapted to the process without any delay. A complex process was keeping the air clean during the neutralization process. We had to rebuild our air purification equipment multiple times, because the emissions from the process were far greater than we had expected during our small laboratory test. The emissions of sulfur oxide into the air changed depending on the layer that had been dug. Another good solution during the cleaning of the tar waste was to use pond waterproof coating, which kept rainwater from mixing with the tar mass. During the process, we used a mobile lab to test the chemical and mechanical properties of the alternative fuel that was prepared. That ensured that the materials were appropriate. Tar and tar mixtures came to our Brotan cement factory in two different ways, neutralized as alternative fuel as well as an alternative raw material that was the mixture of this tar sand. Both materials were put into the clinker oven at a temperature of 1500 degrees Celsius, and that allowed us to produce clinker as an intermediate product. The oven is a totally closed process. There are no waste waters or any other waste that would have to be cleaned, reprocessed or stored. The unique thing is that we have the Brotan cement factory, which is one of the most modern ones in Europe and the world. As a company, we are delighted with and welcome the work that we have done, as well as the opportunity to take part in this process and clean up one part of Latvia's environment. One of the biggest challenges in dealing with the northern tar pond at Inchukons was to ensure that the work could be completed during the tense schedule related to remediating polluted water. This process was ensured on a 24-7 basis for 1.5 years. The amount of treated water is comparable to the amount of water consumed by the residents of Riga a 24-hour period. Another aspect of cleaning up the northern tar pond was to deal with the tar sand. We created vertical and horizontal boundaries for the surrounding environment by building a ridged steel wall, approximately 500 meters long, and covering the territory with bentonite clay. The remediation of acid tar ponds was one of the most important investments in Latvia's environment, public and human health. 
Birds and animals will no longer perish. There will be no potential threats to Gaoya river quality, and threats against the Baltic Sea have been reduced. I am delighted that this project involved modern thinking and an attitude toward the environment. No waste technologies were used, and hazardous waste was incinerated or used as a raw material in a repeated way. That, generally speaking, will create a much broader view of the world. This courageous and well-considered project means that five hectares of land have been restored. Total project funding was around 58 million, with about 44 million euros co-financed by European Union. Remediation of Inchicon's acid tar ponds not only provided benefits for local residents, but also of all of the people in Latvia. Eight hectares of land will be returned to economic use, and the land will soon be covered with forest. I do have to say that this local environmental catastrophe thought a good lesson to business people and the public at large. It is important for us to ensure wise and sustainable management in order to strike a balance between economic development interests and environmental protection. We developed professional excellence in terms of managing this environmental remediation project so as to note the strict terms of the project and the relevant requirements. We are very proud of the fact that we completed the project on schedule and at a high level of quality. The result is an improved environment, which we will continue to monitor for the next 30 years. The most historically polluted place in Latvia has now been returned to the environment. Let's allow the environment to heal. Ļausim dabai atkopties. Ļausim dabai atkopties. Ļausim dabai atkopties. Ļausim dabai atkopties. Ļausim dabai atkopties.